I'm here now. So BronyCon was a blast this year, and I found very little time to talk about what was happening while I was recording. So I'm recording this after the convention to tell you everything that happened over the weekend. Is this the only Brony shirt I have? So the day started off with a smooth drive to the convention. See what Chuck This was the recommended route, people. <laughs> That's a dirt road. <laughs> Not the highway. Who needs it? <laughs> and barely any line to wade through. This is even longer than last year's! Just look. After that, I was off to enjoy the convention. So here we are at my lovely apartment. What are these people doing here? What? Hi. This, Hi. this is not my apartment. Or not apartment. Hotel. What am I saying? Oh yeah. I wasn't alone this time. So one thing already that made this experience much better than last year's was that I got to spend it with a bunch of new friends, specifically the Collaboratory. We met up at the vendor hall, which took a lot longer to find them than I was expecting. I finally found these guys after looking around. Right, I am still confused by the map. These are people from the Collaboratory. That's Jared finally made it! Woo! Yeah! These guys are awesome and it was really fun to hang out with them. We got to chat, relax, and even go around the city for lunch. We ate at places like Chicken Fillet. Get used to this next. This is gonna become your life. Nice of you. Woo! I won't clap. I can't clap. My hand is holding. <laughs> All right. And Blaze Pizzeria, in which they make personal pizzas only and right in front of you. Walking around the city was also just nice to look around. And thank goodness we got back to the convention center well before the rain struck. Otherwise, this would have been too familiar to last year's experience. And of course, during the rain, there were a lot of panels to enjoy, like the lip sync battle. and the PMV contest, which was a gem to witness. What?
loses him. Of course, there are a lot of things to kill time there between panels as well. Like the arcade room. There, while I didn't do too well in Dance Dance Revolution for... reasons. <laughs> I did try out Beat Saber for the first time, and it turned out to be really fun, challenging, satisfying, and easy to pick up. Even outside the arcade room, there are a lot of things you can randomly encounter. Swear you be the death of me! <laughs> Whether it be awesome people like Blank Slate, or wacky setups like Dr. Hoops. You're parking in here. It's, which is quite illegal, don't you think? They haven't said anything so far. Do you have a permit? I'm too adorable to need a permit. Look at me, I'm huggable as all hell. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. I have a secret weapon. What is that? Do <laughs> oh, you think anyone can match her in both cuteness and... Try to restrain her, it's impossible! Well, I don't think I can. Also, I have a weird pinky pie in here. I had to tie her up. She's Oh, I don't know where she's from, really. You cannot hold the piggy! <laughs> you will know how to get out. Yes! Put it in there! And of course, what is BronyCon without the amazingly talented artist in Bronypalooza? There, I got to enjoy many incredibly amazing performances from Crusader. <laughs> French whatever? Cyril the Wolf.
Black Griffin and Michelle Krieber. The Wonderbolts. And Pony One Kenobi. Also the shake ups, but I didn't get any footage of their performance there. So here's a clip of me throwing up balloons during it. However, they were at the talent show. as well as Ingrid Nelson.
Not to mention the incredibly talented people in the competition. <laughs> Including Luck Rock, who is helping me in a music video coming soon. It's almost here. Everything I wanted is ever new. It's time to kick it up now. 100 is the floor. Soar higher, more and more. I'll prove what I can show. I am a wonder Unfortunately, I had to leave during this show, as well as say goodbye to the collaboratory. Alright, see you guys! Bye. My voice cracked up! Bye. Woo! Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. Woo! Nice to meet yeah. Hug! Yeah. Oh. Ah. However, my experience at BronyCon this year was wonderful, and I left with a smile. Before I close this off, I'd like to give a huge shout out, for we have reached 100... ...and 5 subscribers! which is a massive achievement for this channel. To celebrate, I'm going to give a shout out to as many of my subscribers as I can. Obviously, I won't be naming out everyone as my channel is not showing all of them in the list for some reason. So, if you've subscribed and I haven't mentioned to you, let me know in the comments. With that said, let's go. Andrew Shelton, Audio Critic YouTube, Captain Pokemon, Kristen Tienda, Doc Black Pearl, The Space Pony, DJ Pyrotechnics, Dr. Stables, Fat Unicorn 21, Fazex Weave, Flosse, General Darwin, Glossy Gamer, Happy Dreamlands, Harrison Peloso, John Martin, Cart, Kevin, Chance, John, Core Express 2, Cursed, Logan Coates, Mackenzie 179, Happy Spotman, Mfal Lion, Michelle Collins, My Best MLP Channel, Wait, what's your second best? No More World 619, Pine Jack, underscore, Pink Silver, Rarity Rares, RDED, Redhead Brothers, Richard Chavez, Our Man of the Four, Sharp Devastator, Cherubian Shepherd, Sil Stadnik, Sio Ben Sense, Sketch Media, Sophia Twinkle Mist, Sir Foxley, Waggy, Well Frickety Frack, YouTube MLP, and Siron. To close this off, I feel like it would be best to showcase some of the amazing and creative cosplays that were all around the convention. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you to everyone who has been following me throughout this year and even further. Hope you guys have a wonderful summer. Hit it!
Yeah.